The first thing we're going to cover is the first four steps you need to be successful. After that lesson, we're actually going to be covering the five foundations necessary for any Bitcoin ATM business. And then after that, we're going to be covering myself, how to start your Bitcoin ATM business in under 30 days. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's weekly live. Thanks for attending. We've been having this for years, just a little bit about these weekly lives. And uh, we've just been, I mean, trying to impact as many lives as we can. And if you've looked at the Facebook group count, I'll get into that later. It's phenomenal. The amount of people that have been reached by these lives, typically at least 2,000 people a week. Okay. So what I want to know is exactly where you, yes, you are are calling from right now. So where are you watching it from? Are you on your Android, on your iPhone? Are you at home on your computer? Is your whole family watching at Thanksgiving dinner? Comment below what city and state you are watching from. And if you're not in the United States, that's okay. Comment below. We want to know exactly where you guys are at right now. All right. Let's see where we guys got right now. I am like, I'm very excited today. New York City. Okay. Gianni's commenting already. Gianni's coming from New York City. Like I said, I'm in Southern California. Come on, guys. Let's see exactly where you guys are actually at, okay? And for those of you who don't know, we're actually launching our YouTube channel. So we actually had multiple companies approach us. And they said, hey, Paul, get them. What are you guys doing? You have phenomenal content. Why are you folding it hostage on Facebook only? So this is actually being pre-recorded for our YouTube channel. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. We want to see how many people actually want this information spread on YouTube too. Okay. So let's see where everybody's at right now. I see Memphis, Tennessee. Shout out to Memphis, Tennessee. Houston, Texas. That's what I'm talking about. Where else are you guys coming from right now? Maryland. Okay. Minx. Belarus. Very cool. Eastern Europe. Clean Texas, Kevin, shout out. Michigan, I see the uh, the little emoji saying you're cold. I can imagine. I literally just came from Arizona, guys. Freezing. I am not made for the desert. I'm going to put it that way. I'm a peach, all right? I was layered up. Everyone looked at me like I was crazy. I looked like a uh, Eskimo. Where else are you guys calling from? Fremont, California. That's what I'm talking about, the Bay Area, if you guys don't know. All right. So if you guys are actually watching this live, comment live below just so we know we're going to actually have a phenomenal engagement, but it's okay. If this is a replay, whether on YouTube, whether you're on another platform, comment replay below because we actually check the comments on the back end and we make sure we engage with you. If you need any resources, we will provide it a year later. Okay. So this actually helps us with the algorithms. And we've always said this from the beginning, ever since we started with just a few hundred followers, guys. And I don't know if you've checked right now because this drives the growth. We actually hit 50,000 followers already. We didn't even announce it. It was just like, I guess at scale, you're just like, man, we just, we're getting more followers. So at the end of the day, help this information get out there. I still remember when we only had a few hundred people in these groups and it was like six of us, including myself watching the live, right? Now we're consistently at a hundred people at least watching. And I'm telling you thousands of people watching on the back end. So make sure you hit subscribe and like, if you're on YouTube, that is just another chapter in our journey, because at the end of the day, guys, this is a chapter in your journey your entrepreneurial journey. Maybe you're working at nine to five right now. That's okay. I was in the same boat. All it takes is one or two good decisions to change the trajectory of your life. And this is one of those decisions, guys. Okay. So I also want to mention guys as a tribute, I guess we can call it, all right? Well, we'll say it's a tribute to the 50,000 mile mark of our Facebook group. I have a special announcement at the end of this live. Make sure you stay tuned. You guys are going to be, I'm, I'm, I promise you, you're going to like it. It's going to be something special just for you guys live. Okay. Now something special tomorrow is the 14th. Okay. So tomorrow's 14th. Um, how many of you guys have watched good morning America? I mean, I know my mom has, right? Uh, no disrespect. If you watch good morning America. Okay. I don't, I don't want anybody getting mad, but it's a popular show. It's been on for a while. Well, Paul himself is actually going to be live on Good Morning America. And he's not going to be covering the ATM business. It's for something else. Okay. So we're not even going to be talking about business. We're talking about something a little more special to our heart. Okay. So we've actually teamed up with a local charity. And let me actually share my screen. I just want you guys to see exactly what it is I am talking about. So We've teamed up with a local charity. They're called It's All About the Kids. 
Okay. And that name alone, that should tell you that phenomenal straight fire, right? That's the, that's a good name, if anything. So team members, if you can actually drop the link below so people can get more info on this, but this charity is focused on helping food insecure children at the end of the day. And a little bit of how we found this. So I actually searched all over Southern California because I'm all about local charities, just like I like to support local businesses, just like the ATM business, you're a local business. Well, I searched all over Southern California to find the most deserving charity. Well, they focus only on children. And at the end of the day, children are innocent, right? So what they do is they actually focus on food insecure children, meaning that if a child doesn't have enough to eat, especially in the holidays, they will provide the assistance to ensure they have enough to survive, okay? So tomorrow, tomorrow morning, Paul, myself, other volunteers, the board of directors, even on Zoom, they're out of the country, they're gonna be helping including ourselves. We're going to be packing food for these children, after which it's going to get delivered live to different families. There's phenomenal news coverage, including Good Morning America. So you guys hear it first. It's not even announced yet. CBS, all the local news stations will be covering it. So if you can stop by, we will be in San Diego. If you guys are in the area, feel free to stop by, help us pack some actual food. If you can't and you're not local, it's okay. There's another way you can help. Okay. So what you can do is donate to this cause. Any amount helps. Literally any amount helps. And guess what? We're going to match exactly what you donate to this cause. Up to $100,000, guys. I was getting emails from a bank, one of my personal banks, and they said, hey, we're, we're donating $1,000 to a local charity. I was like, that's it? Up to $100,000, guys, to help children, okay? So if you're interested in learning a little more about this cause, you don't have to donate, but if you just want to check them out, provide their support, maybe even comment, Comment children below. One of our team members will send you the link or give you some details on how you can help. It doesn't even have to be financially, guys. Okay. So with that being said, let me get to the agenda for today, guys. And before I actually, you know what, before I get into the agenda, let me, let me break down a little bit about myself, guys, because I mean, I'm, I know a lot of you know me, but some of you guys might be wondering like, who, who is this guy? Like, why are we even listening to you guys? So let me give you a little bit about myself. Okay. So Get them Jonas here, COOATMtogether.com. We are, like I mentioned, a company that helps people start their ATM business. Before that, right, I started in the military. How many military veterans do we have over here? Comment veteran, because we will actually reach out to you. Comment veteran if you served in the United States Armed Forces, just so we can recognize your service, because it's not just one day for veterans, it's every single day, okay? So started in the Marine Corps, um, decided, you know, it was great. Love the service, but at the end of the day, I need a little bit more. You know, working uh, 15 hours a day minimum, it was, it was pretty tough. So I actually got into law enforcement, promoted extremely young, probably the youngest in the department. And at the end of the day, I was just working 80, 100 hours a week, right? And I, I just loved it. I literally loved it. I was like a dog on the hunt. I loved it. But I realized this wasn't sustainable. So I retired early and actually came over to ATM together. Had a little bit of experience in the ATM business before, actually had invested in real estate. That was one of my passive income ventures and crypto. I'm not going to lie. I made it big on crypto. If I did it all over again, it wouldn't be crypto guys. I would be starting a business. And if you want to check it out more, there's some information on my Instagram channel. I break down my journey. Now, no prior education, guys. You don't need to have this fancy college degree to make it, to be financially free. That's why you're here. Because at the end of the day, this is a new century. The information is free. At the end of the day, all the information you need is going to be on YouTube. Like I mentioned, it's on Facebook. You can be successful just based on that. And I don't know if I can tell you, but this is, this is the example of that, guys. So that's a little bit about myself. And just so you guys remember, make sure to subscribe and follow if you're watching this on YouTube, because like I mentioned again, we're going to be providing more content. Okay. So guys, to the agenda for today, this is going to be a special live. It's going to be I'm really good. We actually have a special guest, Gianni. He's going to come on in a second now. What we're going to be covering today, a few different topics. We're going to be covering the cash ATM business and the Bitcoin ATM business, just to give you guys the options that you need to get started. Okay. So first of all, okay. The first thing we're going to cover is actually the first four steps you need and every other ATM deployer, including myself, including Gianni, Paul himself, need to be successful. Okay. After that lesson, Gianni and me are going to be tag teaming that. We're actually going to be covering the five foundations necessary for any Bitcoin ATM business because that is the craze right now, guys. It's the future. And I'm going to get into that after this lesson. Okay. And then after that, we're going to be covering myself, 
how to start your Bitcoin ATM business in under 30 days, guys. That's right. So the first week of January, if you want, you can have your Bitcoin ATM business started. Okay, guys. So let's actually get to it because we are running a little bit behind. Let's see, Gianni, can you hear me? Let's see if he is on. Hey, Gadam, what's awesome. up? How's everyone doing? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing, brother? Pretty good, man. I'm pumped for this live. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we're going to go over. Guys, make sure you're sharing this so as many people can get the information. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so before we even get into it, because I'll, I'll probably cover the first lesson, and we'll, we'll tag team this, guys. But Gianni, can you can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, guys. So just quick sto uh, story about me. My name is Gianni. I'm from the Northeast New York City. I've actually been in the ATM business about three years, uh, teamed up with Paul and get them. They weren't as fancy back then. And I got over 40 ATMs on the East Coast. A little background, you guys see the OD green, uh, just like get them. I was in the Marines as well. And uh, yeah, I was tired of digging foxholes and started, uh, you know, digging up cash with the ATM. So I'm glad to be here. And I hope we can provide a lot of information for all those that are looking to get started. That's what I'm talking about, Gianni. That's what I'm talking about. And, and just so guys, just so you know, right? So you understand the expertise of what you're going to have today. Gianni, can you, can you give the audience a little bit of uh, maybe a little more details, of like how many locations you have, how many contracts, things like that? Right. Yeah. I was going to save it a little bit more towards the end, but I'll just let okay. them know. So I have yeah. 40 actual locations. Hey, I'll just pop the champagne bottle now. Yeah. So um, I recently locked down 80 Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I'm sure you guys heard Paul and get them mention that um, it was a big uh, pull for me. And, you know, just on the um, small side, if I were even just getting 200, that'd be 16,000 a month ROI in um, 16 months. Wow. Hard to beat. Ridiculous guys. Ridiculous. So you just imagine like the potential that's available to you in an ATM business. And Gianni came from the military, nine to five, normal American, just like you guys. So there's potential. Okay. So let's, let's, let's get into this lesson. All right. So the first four steps, every ATM deployer needs to be successful. Okay. So the first thing, and I'll, I'll actually cover this, it's the foundation because I always believe in foundation guys to get started. Okay. So it's, it's very interesting how this goes. So the first few things you need is going to be an LLC, your EIN and your bank guys. And before I get into that, let me, let me break down foundation a little bit for you guys. So how many of you guys have maybe gone to work and maybe you just sit in your car for a little bit, just thinking about your situation, thinking maybe this isn't for you. Maybe this isn't the career you envisioned yourself in. Maybe this isn't the position you saw yourself in. I was in that position, guys. Literally, I would show up to work and I had a great paying career, literally great paying career, thought, you know, I'm making six figures, was on track to promote, all that good stuff. But you know, you just feel that feeling of something isn't right. So I tried multiple businesses because I knew I was like, you know what? I just can't do this nine to five thing. And I failed. I literally failed. I'm telling you these investments, I, I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, guys. And it's easy to quit after that. It is. But what I recognized was, is I just didn't have the foundation to what I was doing. I was literally just blindly throwing money at things without doing my research, first of all, and without creating a baseline. First thing they teach you in the military is you understand your situation and then you have a mission. That mission is what dictates the equipment you bring, the plan, everything. Your mission is to create a passive income source, right? For you to do that, you have to have the foundation. The first thing you need for your ATM business, the foundation, every deployer needs, I'm telling you from Gianni to myself from across the country, is your limited liability company. We always say LLC because of simplicity at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, you can become an S corp, you can become a C corp, you can be whatever you want, guys. It doesn't matter. But we always say LLC because imperfect action. That's how you succeed. Some people get so caught up on the name. I'm telling you right now, one of my cousins contacted me. They're like, hey, get them, man. I got seven different names. What do you think will be the most successful? I literally dropped my coffee. I was like, are you kidding me right now? That means nothing. How many of you guys have seen that on social media? People so focused on the LLC name. It doesn't matter. Let me put something in perspective for you guys. What's one of the most famous companies in the world? Google. When they started, somebody was probably like, Google? What the heck is Google LLC? And look at them now. 
Your name does not matter, guys. So execute, execute, execute when it comes down to your ATM business. So the first few things you need is to know who's going to be in your LLC, where it's going to be at, and the paperwork you need. So when I say that, who's going to be in your LLC? Is it going to be your spouse? Is it going to be your brother? Is it going to be your family? Who is it going to be? And while you're following along, guys, if you want a guide on how to actually form your LLC step-by-step, -step, that's totally free, guys, for you. Comment LLC below. One of our team members or even myself, I'll shoot it to you after this live. Literally, you can follow along, okay? So first thing you're going to need, like I said, is your LLC. You want to make sure you know who's going to be in it, where it's going to be at. There's three options, guys. Super simple. Three options of where it's going to be at. Is it going to be your home? Is it going to be a virtual business address? Or is it going to be a commercial address? I always recommend your home. It's the cheapest. It's the fastest. It's the simplest. Simpler, faster, easier, guys, when you want to start your business, okay? You can always get a virtual business address. It's like having a PO box. It's going to cost you $20, $30 a month. That's an option. Or you can get a commercial address, like literally rent an office. That'll cost you about 500 bucks a month. I like to save money when I start my business, guys. I don't know about you. I still count my pennies, okay? So start with your home address. Then you want to know who's going to be in it. What's the name? And of course, the NAICS code, guys, which is 522320. 522320 is going to be the NAICS code for the ATM business. Don't ask. Just write it down, guys, okay? After that, you get your LLC, you get your EIN. That's going to be your employer identification number, okay? Make sure you're paying attention, guys. This is free information for anybody to start their ATM business. Okay. And Gianni, correct me if I'm wrong. Does this sound different from when you started? Yeah, Adam, everything you're saying, you're dropping gems out there for them. I've seen yep. accounts get closed for not being registered under the proper uh, LLC number for ATM business. They may assume you're something else and actually shut you down before you're off the ground, man. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I mean, we'll get into that story later. That's actually uh, very interesting, um, especially in 2022 and 2023 updates. But you need to write this down, guys. It is imperative to start your business right. Don't waste your time with the mistakes. It's costly at the end, okay? So get your EIN. That's going to be online. It's at the IRS website. It is totally free. If you're on the website and it's saying it's going to charge you, they do lookalike sites. Make sure you check the URL, guys, okay? I can't tell you how many people have came to me and said, get them. They got me. I'm like, what do you mean? Where are they at? I'm ready to fight, right? That was my voice. And then all of a sudden, they're like, no, 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 online. Calm down, calm down. Like, oh, okay, okay. They're like, they got me online. It looked just like the IRS website. I filled out everything. And then they said it was 250 bucks. And I got an angry message like, get him. You told me it was free. I'm like, double check the address. And it's like irs.i.com. And they're like, oh, 250 bucks. So pay attention, guys. It's free online for you. Don't get suckered into paying for it. Okay. And then you need your business checking account. So for a cash ATM business, and this is actually important for the Bitcoin ATM business. We'll get into it later. But cash ATM business, you have to be truthful with your bank. Let them know you're going to have an ATM business. There's nothing worse than getting a text message or an angry call at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. And they're like, Gianni, what's going on, man? You just had 14 transactions at your ATM. And one day, the 15th guy, and it says error, it's not connected. And you're like, what's going on? And then you check your email and the bank lets you know, like, hey, we found out you have an ATM business because <clears throat> you decided not to be truthful. It's the worst thing, guys. Got them to piggyback off that. I actually had a yeah. call earlier. Somebody opened up their ATM business. They tried to say it was a different type of business. There's no way you could have an ATM business. The bank shut them down. Guess what they do with your money? Your money's now in limbo and they're mailing you a check. I don't know about you, get them. I don't want my hard-earned money going through the mail, man. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, this has happened to <clears throat> so many people, guys. I mean, it's, it's precarious. It is absolutely important, guys, in 2022 and going into 2023. I have personally heard of over 15 people getting their bank accounts shut down for various things, not telling them what it is, not yeah, telling I'm them the reading the comments. And um, yeah. I see some people are mentioning that they already have an LLC. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, so with the LLC, guys, you want to bring that to the bank. Okay. So with the bank, you want to let them know, first of all, what type of business it is. Okay. So you let them know, Hey, this is an ATM business. And these are the documents you guys need. You want your business paperwork, your EIN paperwork. And typically you're going to want paperwork from your processing company, something to say you're legit guys. Cause in 2022 going on to 2023, it's a high risk business. Banks think you're Sicario three. They think you're Ozark season nine. Show them that you're legit guys. 
So those are the main things you're going to need for your foundation. And then of course, you're going to want contracts, guys. Contracts for your locations, because at the end of the day, they want to know that this, this location actually exists. They want to know there's not just some fictitious machine. So make sure you have a contract for your location. You can always start off with a trial, but ensure you get a contract. Okay. Now, guys, second step, the foundation for your ATM business is actually avoiding contracts with your processing company. I can't stress the importance of this. Gianni, out of, out of these 40 locations, would you have contracts with your processing company? No, you never want to sign any type of contract. It should be free and you shouldn't have to pay anything for it. 100%. 100%. Because look at it this way, guys. There's so much competition in the industry. If your processing company is not fighting for your business, something is wrong. Something is absolutely wrong. This isn't 1999 with a cell phone contract, guys. They know two-year contracts. This should be free. You should keep all your actual profits. And then, of course, once you determine the right processing company that you're actually not going to have a contract with, you want to avoid franchises. Literally today, Johnny, I know we were just talking about this, guys. I have to show you this. I was like in shock that this still happens. I didn't even believe so it when you showed me, man. I, I literally had to, I had to send Johnny a screenshot. I was like, if Johnny doesn't believe me, no one else is going to believe me. So guys, franchises. So think of like McDonald's and Burger King, right? For you to own that location, you pay a franchise fee. Okay. So what that looks like is you actually pay McDonald's a certain amount of money. They provide you everything you need to start, but you get charged every time yearly to be a, a part of this association. Okay. This happens in the ATM business, which makes no sense to me. I mean, we're literally giving you the free information and they, 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 they throw a sweet bow on it and all that, but like yearly subscriptions, um, secrets and all that good stuff. No guys, you want to absolutely avoid franchises. Let me explain to you. And I'm going to block out this company's name because it's, uh, we don't, we don't bad mouth companies here. Okay. We'll let you, you'll do your due diligence and figure it out, but check this out guys. So. Wow. Yeah. One, one, one person reached out to our team and he's like, Hey, you know, I'm just going to go um, with this company. They just, they just said, don't worry about it real easy. Just, just make sure you uh, sign up for our franchise. And he's like, what, was it? what do you guys think? I'm like, franchise. Are you sure it's an ATM business? Like, yeah. So they will charge you $25,000 guys, basically a car just to get in with them. $25,000. That doesn't include the ATM, doesn't include the location, the money, nothing like that. In addition to that, you pay another $1,000 for a three-day training, three physical day training at headquarters. After that, you're going to pay ten dollars to $12,000 per location. It is so much to start with the franchise, guys. And that's what I'm telling you, pay attention that they tell you they want you to have at least $60,000 to start, guys. How many of you guys have $60,000 to start an ATM business? That's not that reasonable. Avoid franchises at all costs, guys. I mean, if, I, if, if you take anything around these lessons, avoid franchises, all right? So step number three, Gianni, I know you got this. I, I still can't believe that franchise fee, man, that you just showed me. That is wild. Yeah. Exactly. Guys, so yeah. step three, it's going to be finding those premium locations. Uh, get them already touched on some of the locations I locked down. Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this as well. I also have uh, Gentlemen's Club locations. As we all know, they're cash only. Now, when you're looking for those locations, see, get them smiling over there. <laughs> I, have uh, no, I have no idea. <laughs> right? Guys, you want to look at the foot traffic. If it has a lot of foot traffic, you want to keep your eyes open. You want to look at the need for cash. All you guys saw the $2 billion lottery lines going around the block. In most states, you can only buy lottery with cash. So if you go into one of those convenience stores and you're buying a lotto ticket, you don't see an ATM, that'd be a prime spot for you to get right there. And you also want to remember when you're pitching your ATM business, you want to pitch the benefits of having it to the business owner. They're going to save on credit card processing fees. For those of you that don't know, when you go to a restaurant, the, the cashier gets the iPad, they swipe your card, they flip it around, ask you for a 15% tip for doing nothing. Yeah, um, they got to pay for every time you swipe a card. So if a business is using your ATM, they're now avoiding those fees. And also, this is a big one here, and I know a lot of business owners can attest to this, no chargebacks. If you're running a nail salon or a hair salon, you're doing somebody's hair or nails, 200, 300 bucks. 
next day somebody could report their card stolen. Now that uh, money gets out of your account. If they're using cash only and utilizing your ATM, guess what? That's not happening. You have cash in your hands. So you got to learn how to pitch it to the business owners and what businesses could benefit from having an ATM. A lot. A yeah. Lot. A lot, I mean, I mean, think okay. about it. So cash driven, it doesn't even have to be cash only cash driven. Exactly. And you all know what? There's a lot of locations. I don't know about you guys. I get a haircut about once a week, just the way it is. I can get tell. Man. I know you have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> so dude, locations that you guys visit on a weekly basis or even monthly basis. And of course we have this happening all over the country now. Guess what? This is a gold mine right here and you guys can get in on it. Dispensaries are opening up all over the U S it's not federally regulated. So they can't use a credit card processing machine. With just the information me and get them gave you guys that right there is a gold mine. So they're going to yeah. be using the ATMs in those locations. I've already had a few. They're doing thousands of transactions. If you put a $5 surcharge on that, guess what? Making more than a rental property right there, just off one location, life changing, a couple hundred yeah. bucks. Changing. Now imagine yeah, dis that. dispensaries are um, the big thing guys in case, I don't know if you guys see that, like that emphasize how important that is. So Paul actually has, he, he was, he's, he's in California, right? He has some dispensaries. If you check his Instagram story today, he was at a dispensary. It made him $9,000 guys. One location, $9,000. He had two ATMs there. That's so much traffic because at the end of the day, they can't use credit card machines. They, exactly. can't, they can't even use debit cards technically. So if there's any machine like that at a dispensary, whether you go to them or not, that's actually not allowed. They'll get fined $25,000 if they're found out. Because and this is the best part, get them ready for yeah. another one. Yeah. Owners of the dispensary can't own the ATM. It's illegal. Ridiculous. See, dropping gems, guys. Yeah. So think about that, guys. Think about the opportunities out there. And remember, as state by state, and remember... Keep politics out of everything, guys. There's a saying I always remember. You can either be right or you can be rich. Which one do you want to be? Think about that for a second, guys. Comment below. Do you want to be right or do you want to be rich? I want to know who's over here a heavy hitter. Who's ready to get their business started no matter what? I see a few comments. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. You see, you see the tenacity of the, of the audience, Johnny. That's why I wanted to bring you on because we want to give these gems, guys. That's what we love to see, man. Absolutely. Exactly. So as, as the years go on, guys, remember, marijuana is becoming legal state by state. But it's federally illegal. So guess what? Cash only. So think about those smoke shops in your area. They're going to be the first ones to transition to become dispensaries. Locking exactly. those deals. Yep. And I'm sure you guys have seen smoke shops sometimes are opening up right next to each other. Like how, how much vapes are people smoking? So that was another gem right there. hundred percent. Yeah. Guys, now um, another thing when getting locations, you guys are going to realize is once you're in the ATM business, you're, you're known as the ATM person, right? All the business owners, they network with each other. That's how I landed to Dunkin' Donuts was through a business I already had locked down. Mm -hmm. Had a, a dinner with the owner of the franchise, 80 locations. Now I have the 80 Dunkin' Donuts. Now I'm taking my sweet time and slowing two to three ATMs, picking the best ones, right? 24 seven Dunkin' Donuts, New York City. You can't beat it, no drive-through. So it's getting a lot of foot traffic. It's open 24 seven and there's really no banks in the area because they're um, usually really congested neighborhoods. So your network is your net worth like Paul and Getham say all the time. This couldn't be uh, more realistic to that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's 100% true. I mean, we like to surround ourselves around winners, guys. And it brings up a good point. If if you're the top person in your store, I mean, let me, let me ask you guys this. How many of you guys remember the Fave Five from T-Mobile? Gianni, you remember that? Fave the Five? Back, the sidekick, remember? I was I was there, man. I was texting what, my little, what, my friends. Yeah, those are good times, right? When you still had to hold the phone like this. Right, I have Air Force Flip that thing. Oh, the Air Force One. See, Young Jeezy was still playing, man. So, <laughs> so when I bring this up, guys, the Fave Five from T-Mobile. Okay, you can only have so many people in your life. You can't have 20, 30, 40 friends. Let's keep it real. They ain't friends. They're acquaintances. 
you're probably going to have around five. Okay. So you have to ask yourself, think about the top five people you talk to daily, weekly, monthly, and don't include your family. Don't include your spouse. Are you the top one among them? Because if you are, there's a problem. Yeah. You have to consistently surround yourself with people that are doing better than you because they will bring you up. Don't bring them down, but they will bring you up. And then you can literally bring up your family, bring up your friends. Think and about lot, who's around you. Yeah. A lot of times get them those friends that are doing worse than you. If you're the top dog in that circle, like you mentioned, guess what? They're haters. If you have an idea, yeah. oh, I want new ATMs, man, they're everywhere, man. You don't got to worry about that. They're trying to bring you down because they're not making any or doing anything productive. I had friends like that in high school. Guess what? Don't talk to them. Yep. Wasting my time. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Guys, like I, I can't stress this enough. When it comes down to your business, you got to focus on it. Your business, first of all, is your family and your financial freedom. And the business that you're investing in is the vehicle that's actually going to take you there. Remember that. Not your acquaintances, not your high school friends. It's going to be who's around you bringing you up, right? So yeah, Gianni, phenomenal, phenomenal. You mentioned finding premium locations. What else? Now, when we're first starting off in the ATM business, guys, I love to see it, especially with some of our uh, new clients. You guys want to aim for the fences. I love it. But you let's remember, we want to get them. You already know what I'm about to say. Slow, smooth, smooth is fast. Yep. Want to load your own ATM. Start off with that. A lot of people, they like to start off with loaders. I don't recommend that when you're starting off. You want to know the business inside and out. And also, you're making your investment back faster. Makes now, sense. when you guys um, start the ATM business, um, by you loading, you're also establishing a good relationship with that business owner where your ATM's at. You guys will be surprised how many referrals I get from my business owners. They'll give my number out, make sure you have cards on you. Now, like oh, I was sure. saying, yeah, slow, smooth, smooth is fast. Guess what? Once you learn how to do one ATM, there's no difference from having one to 100. You want to have those quality over quantity locations and just do a nice steady rise. I made the mistake when I started off, right? I was pulling out the calculator. I'm sure you guys are doing too. Where I was like, wow, if I have 10 locations making this amount of money, I could, I could quit my day job. Yes, you can, but you want to do it in a nice steady pattern. Make sure you get those locations. Make sure you know how to load your ATMs and utilize your own cash. Because all you're doing at the end of the day, get them, you're recycling your cash. Nothing better than that. Yeah, that's, that's actually great. I like to call it, um, Paul actually coined this term, infinity banking. Because at the end of the day, you're literally making your money work for you. And instead of letting it sit in a check-ins account or savings account, that's probably getting you, I mean, 1%, 2% maybe, you're charging people to use your money. I mean, if, the, if there's not anything more simpler than that, guys, especially if we're working a nine to five, this, there's nothing else, right? Exactly. Especially with the high inflation rate, 9%. At most, the bank will give you in a savings, what, 0.5%? That's if not that. If that, I get 0.01% and I, I get like about like 10 cents. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't even buy a cola with that. Uh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so guys, like, like, like Gianni mentioned, so you mentioned run the business yourself. We always like to start small when it comes to business. You don't want to overcomplicate the process. Simplicity equals success. And the biggest and the most, I guess, like the biggest takeaway I got in life was the term imperfect action. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just take action, guys. I literally have a neon sign in front of me right now. It's glowing yellow. And it says imperfect action because I have to remind myself years later, millions later, imperfect action. It's easy to get caught in analysis paralysis. Just keep it simple. And guess what? You're going to make a mistake. Move forward. Start small. You might fill up the, the machine wrong. You might put the bills backward. You might not put in the dispenser. You might not fix it right. But you can always adjust. But if you don't get started, you're just wasting your time. Yeah, absolutely get them. And the best yeah. part about this business, I always try out locations. If a location doesn't work out, this is one of the few businesses, unlike real estate, let's say you have crappy neighbors, now you're stuck with the house. With the ATM business, if a location isn't doing good, you own the ATM, you could move it. That's one of the great gems of this business. If it's not producing, you move it. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things, guys. It's a floating asset as you call it. Absolutely. 
Yeah. I mean, I have, I've had a lot of realtors contact me lately because things are slowing down in real estate. People are kind of seeing the writing on the wall. They're okay. What's going to happen December 15th around the corner. What's the fed going to do? So what are they doing? They're taking that cash they had set aside for a house and they're investing into businesses and the ATM business makes sense guys. So get in before the rush. Okay. Johnny phenomenal. So once you, once you wrap it up for everybody, um, just a recap of what you covered. Yeah, guys. So thanks for having me on get them. I know it's going to yeah. be on YouTube. So shout out to everyone on YouTube. If you guys have any questions, make sure to post it. Um, so just to recap guys, we're talking about a life-changing amount by the locations. You guys need to have an eagle eye out for those prime locations. Like Getham was saying with um, Paul in the dispensaries, he's making nine G's a month, right? That could cover some of your guys' mortgages expenses. Wow. Two to 300 is life-changing. And remember this business, it's all about just like any business scaling. So you can reach your monthly expenses. The ATMs pay for it from those locations. And now you're nine to five. Guess what? You could save it reinvest it into ATMs or another business like get them did with real estate. And now you're out of that rat race or out of the matrix, as some people like to say. True. So it was a pl pleasure being on. Uh, I know get going to hit you guys with some, uh, some little surprises here and uh, yeah. I'll be tuned in as well. Cool. Cool. Gianni. And then if anybody wants to reach you on Instagram, how would they do that? What is your Instagram handle? Yeah, guys. So I have a pretty uh, long Italian name. So it's going to be C A P O capo. Gianni, G-I-A-N-N-I. You could also see it here on the uh, Zoom. And then Santino, S-A-N-T-I-N-O. You guys can hit me up with any questions you have there. Uh, myself, Getum, Paul, and the rest of the team, we're always sharing each other's stuff. So if you find one of us, you'll probably find the other. Feel free to ask me any questions, interact on the content. And I'm actually going to be posting an install at a Dunkin' Donuts so if you guys want to see the video, make sure you tune in on Instagram. Thanks, Kevin, for having me. Take it away, brother. For sure, for sure. Thanks, Johnny. Guys, guys, I mean, I mean, off on a off on a little bit of a tangent. So me and Paul were actually talking recently. So um, you know, a lot of us happen to actually have like law enforcement experience. I mean, Johnny's a uh, combat veteran in the Marine Corps. He was actually a machine gunner, right? So Decent amount of stories. Let's put it that way. A lot of law enforcement stories. Sometimes they actually come to our head. So Paul and me were actually wondering, like, how many guys would be interested if we launched the podcast where we'd be covering financial freedom, literally the hacks, the tricks, the, the tax saving tips that we learned from expensive consulting agencies, law enforcement stories. I'm talking adrenaline, military stories, and just life. If you guys would be interested comment, subscribe below. We want to know like how many people would realistically subscribe because we're actually thinking about it. There's a lot of actually gems that we're getting. We have, a, I mean, my family's in the medical industry, like emergency medicine. We, we, we're thinking like we actually launched this, guys. So comment, subscribe below if you would be interested in us launching a podcast that you can listen to at least once a week in addition to this, guys. We want to know the feedback. If we get enough people, you know how we do. We'll, we'll launch in perfect action. It might have to be in a box and we're talking to each other, but we'll make it happen, guys. All right. So on to the next lesson, guys. So I know Gianni dropped some gems. I actually have a phenomenal lesson for you right now on the Bitcoin ATM business. A little bit different than the ATM business, guys, but we're going to cover exactly what it is. Okay. So this is going to be the five foundations for any Bitcoin ATM business. And I'm calling it Bitcoin ATM, guys. It's actually BTM. I just want you to get familiar with the terminology to not get confused because this is the future. Imagine I'm giving you like the stock ticker for Amazon 10 years ago, and they're only selling books. And I'm, I was like, guys, one day delivery, two day delivery. And you're like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. We're, we're showing you the future right now. 2023 is around the corner, guys. So Remember, we are pre-recording this for our YouTube channel. So you actually, if you're actually on YouTube right now, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We'll actually be putting this live on YouTube to reach way more people, guys. But we're always loyal to the Facebook group. So if you are excited to learn the basics of your BTM business, that is Bitcoin ATM business, comment ready below. Because first of all, I know you're ready. You're on this live for a reason. You want to get these gems so you can get your business started, right? Comment ready below. So let me get this started. We want to help with the algorithms, get as many people on this live as possible so they can help you with your business too, all right? So on to the next four weeks. The actual basics of your BTM business, okay? So remember, in the ATM business, we say it's the four pillars, 
Okay, there's actually a fifth pillar that gets added with Bitcoin ATMs because there's a, there's a few complexities if you're doing it on your own, okay? So remember, in the ATM business itself, you want the ATM itself, you want a location, you want the processing, and you want your bank account, okay? I always include the internet with the processing. So the four pillars, okay? When it comes to the Bitcoin ATM business, it's a little bit complex. And I've actually gotten this question a lot. They say, hey, get them, like, why would anybody use a Bitcoin ATM? I can just go to Coinbase. I can just use Gemini. So let me tell you something, guys. Back in 2016, before a lot of you even knew what the heck a Bitcoin was, I was investing six figures in it. I'll, I'll leave it at that. You can do the math, whatever you want. I am a firm believer in crypto. But when it comes to crypto, I believe in self-custody. And what that means is you own your own crypto. You don't leave it on an exchange. And I've been, I've been preaching this, right? And Paul might get mad at me for telling the story, but Paul himself, I told him, I was like, dude, get your freaking money off the exchange, man. Lost $50,000. What would you guys do with $50,000? I know what I would do. I'd buy my parents a vacation. My mom's retiring in, in February, so I'd, I'd buy her vacation. Well, the reason why I bring this up, guys, is there's a saying in the crypto industry, not your keys, not your coins. And to keep it simple, imagine the keys are your social security and they give you the access to the funds. When you, you know, when you call the bank, and they ask you for your social security number to verify your identity. That's what it is. If you aren't in control of that, you aren't in control of your money. If you leave your money on an exchange or crypto, actually somebody else is in control of that. So if that exchange goes down, just like BlockFi and FTX did recently, where Steph Curry is losing hundreds of millions of dollars, there goes your money. They don't care about your money. Think about all that money. So people want to buy crypto. It's getting mass adoption, but it's unsafe to do it on an actual exchange. So what other option is there? Well, there is another option, guys. Literally, I can own the Bitcoin. Imagine this is my wallet, okay? I'm the person with the crypto and the wallet, and I'm the guy buying it with the cash. We literally... I can give him cash, okay? And he sends that crypto to me directly. That's an option. But how realistic is that at scale, guys? Are you really going to stand at the corner? I'm like, hey, I got crypto for sale. Might end up in some problems, right? So the only other option is actually Bitcoin ATMs, crypto ATMs. So what that is, guys, is literally you put your money inside that machine and you get crypto sent to you, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in California, whether you're in Alaska. I want to show you guys something before I even get into this lesson. I want to show you how simple it is. Earlier today, I was actually installing another crypto ATM for us. That's how much we believe in it, guys. So let me share my screen. I want to show you exactly how this happens to show you how simple Bitcoin ATMs work. All right. So let's do this. Can you guys see my screen? As you can imagine, look at that beautiful little machine. See the ATM Together logo on it. It's actually at a premium location like we'll find for you. So check this out. $300 in cash. I put it in the actual machine. Hopefully you can't see my, uh, my secret wallet, guys. Don't copy it down, okay? Put the money in. Let's go ahead. I can't stress to you how simple this is, guys. So I put the money in, $300. I scanned my wallet address on my phone. It tells me to confirm the amount, and that's it. It took me, guys, literally seven minutes for that crypto to get to me. As I was driving, see that receipt? As I was driving to get my coffee, because I was tired, guys. I'm not going to lie, I was tired. I had my crypto already. Think about how quick that is. How many of you guys have even used a Bitcoin ATM before? I'm, I'm pretty sure not a lot of you, because no one's really aware of it. You see it. So now imagine when people start to recognize the value of that thing, what are they going to do? They sell their car for cash and they're like, I want to invest it. I don't want to put $25,000 in my bank account. They can put up to $30,000 in your machine. And what you're going to do is you're going to charge them a percentage to use your machine, typically about 15%. So if I put $1,000 in the machine, you would make $150 off that transaction alone. And that's, that's pretty low. That's low in the business, okay? 
So if you're excited about the potential of your Bitcoin ATM business, comment crypto below. I'm going to explain to you exactly the five things you need to start that business, guys. Comment crypto below. I want to make sure you're actually excited. You want to learn. Because if you don't want to learn, come on, let's keep it real. I'm a straight shooter. Don't need to be here. All right? Because I see, look at this. I see the excitement. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I see the excitement. People see the, I know you guys are forward thinkers. If I was with you at a coffee shop, you guys would have invested in Tesla with me years ago. I understand that, right? That's why you're here. Okay, so let's get back into it. So the first thing you're going to need is your business formation. Okay, that's one of the first things of those foundations. You want to have a business to protect yourself because at the end of the day, this is a business. You aren't just investing in crypto, guys. You're investing into a business. Change your mentality because at the end of the day, your mentality when you get into business will affect how successful you are. You need to be a hunter. You need to be driven. You need to be focused when you're doing this. So start with the basics. As they say in carpentry, measure twice, cut once. Okay. So when it comes down to the crypto ATM business or the BTM business, you want to make sure you have an LLC, guys. Form your business. Okay. From there, again, EIN number. This is going to be the tricky part, guys. With that business, you're going to need a bank. So if you are to do the crypto ATM business on your own, you're going to become what's called a money service business. Write this down, look it up. You're going to understand the complexity of this. It's called MSB for short. If you're a cash ATM business, you're not this, okay? But if you do the Bitcoin ATM business on your own, you are an MSB, guys. And the best way to think about it is like this. If somebody exchanges US currency for anything else, whether it's pesos, whether it's gold, whether it's crypto, there are certain things you need to do to prevent money laundering. You have to register with the federal government. You have to register with the state. You have to register typically with your city. You have to have a compliant, all this good stuff, guys. So what you want to do is do your research. That's one of the first foundations of the business. You want to do it right. Last week, I had another coverage of this with one of the crypto experts also, but you want to do your research because you come an MSB. So understand the complexities of what you're doing. This isn't one of those things where you, when I say imperfect action, this isn't one of those situations, guys. I'm going to keep it real because you don't want the IRS. You don't want the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network knocking on your door. Okay. So you want to do your research because this is a complex business if you do it on your own. Okay. The second is going to be compliance, right? Compliance is extremely important when it comes to the BTM business, especially when you're doing it on your own. Think about it this way. Remember I mentioned you have to register with the federal government. So how many of you guys have heard the saying, you know, like you ever had that, um, we'll call it like the glass ceiling. You know, when people always mention, you know, if, if you do anything for over $10,000, the IRS is going to find out, the federal government's going to find out, especially when you withdraw it from the bank. You know, that, that weird feeling you used to get? The reason that exists, it's from, from the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Whenever anybody moves over $10,000, it gets reported. So what do they do? They collect additional information from you. So people always thought that, hey, if you ever moved over $10,000, especially overseas, you're going to get on some watch list or something. That's not the case. But there are certain things that need to be in place for your BTM business. So you want to focus on the second thing, which is compliance, guys. Okay. So you want to ensure that you are compliant with your federal regulations, your state regulations, and your bank, because your bank is actually going to have their own policies. The banks themselves have to have policies in place that ensure MSBs that are doing business with them are compliant. Because the last thing they want is to be complicit. They don't want to be on the discovery channel, right? And we got, you know, when you have the, uh, the light and if you're in the shadows talking and you're the whistleblower, they don't want that happening to them guys. Okay. So that is the second thing when it comes to your BTM business. The third thing is going to be your machine. The last thing you want to do is buy used, guys. Do not buy a used machine. Because when it comes to the Bitcoin ATM business, remember, these are advanced pieces of equipment. Imagine you have a, a computer that you're buying. How many of you guys have buy, bought a used laptop? You know what? Let me ask you this. How many of you guys have bought a used phone? Think about that for a second. You know that weird feeling you get? You're like, hey, it looks good. I see a little dust in the headphone port. You know, is that a crumb? Wait, is that a goldfish? I thought you said you didn't have any kids. And then the guy gives you the shifty eyes, you know, start looking around, just give me the cash. Well, when it comes to the BTM business, you want to buy brand new. And the reason why is, first of all, you want a warranty. 
because it's advanced electronics going on. First of all, there's transactions of crypto going on. There's high-speed internets. Usually, and if you're, if you're doing this and you don't get an advertising topper with your machine, there's a problem. Whoever's supplying it to you is probably not the best people. Let's put it that way, guys. So you want to buy brand new because then you know and you can ensure that you're getting the best because your machine is going to allow cash to go in, just like I showed you, and it's also going to dispense cash. The last thing you want is somebody coming to your machine. Imagine this, guys. Somebody coming to your machine and they have $10,000. And they go there and it says out of order. And they're like, man, I was going to do a $10,000 transaction. And you were about to make $1,500 off that transaction. That is the absolute worst thing you could do. So make sure you buy brand new when you're getting into the Bitcoin ATM business. It's a bigger investment. So you want to make sure it's new at the end of the day, get a warranty, make sure all the parts work and also make sure it's going to work for you guys. Okay. Now, when it comes down to number four, the fourth foundation of your business, it's going to be cash management. And here's the reason why guys. So in the ATM business, just so you know, a cash ATM business, as long as you only allow a person to withdraw their cash out of the machine, you're not an MSV. When it comes down to the Bitcoin ATM business, you're allowing deposits technically because they're, they're trading their cash for something else. So you have to remember, you need to keep accountability of this cash. First of all, you want to keep accountability of the cash going inside the machine, the cash going outside of the machine. And then what's the initial source of funds? What do I mean by that? Okay, let me break this down for you. Okay. So $1,000 goes into that machine on Monday. You made $150 off that transaction, which is, which is good, okay? Now another $1,000, another $1,000. We'll say 10 transactions. Now you have $10,000 in that machine. Are you going to leave it in the machine? Or are you going to take it out? I say take it out. Because at the end of the day, the Bitcoin ATM is not connected to your bank account, guys. It's not like a cash ATM. So there's no way to know you made that profit. So what you want to do is actually withdraw the cash from that machine and deposit it into your Bitcoin ATM compatible business checking account. So think about that. Do you want to do that yourself? Well, we recommend. So that way you don't have to carry $10,000, $20,000. Sometimes people put $100,000 in that machine. We always recommend you have what's called professional vaulting services. Okay. We recommend that you don't do your yourself because at the end of the day, I don't even like carrying over $500 in my wallet. When it comes to cash ATMs, okay, you're going to put a few thousand dollars. That's going to be once every other week. When it comes to Bitcoin ATMs, there's a lot of cash going through that machine, guys. Typically, you're expecting at least thirty dollars to $100,000 in cash going through that machine a month. That's a lot of times going back to that machine. So what you want to do is fully automate that solution for you to protect yourself and your investment. So make sure you have someone or people to manage your cash for you guys. Okay. So the fifth aspect of your crypto ATM business is going to be the actual crypto ownership itself. That's right. You have to own the crypto. If you do this on your own, guys, you have to own the actual crypto in your machine. And here's the reason why. Think of your machine as like a brokerage, right? Almost like, almost like a garage sale, right? So you have your machine, it's going to host the cash and it's also going to host the crypto. So if you own that machine and you're doing it on your own, you have to buy the Bitcoin itself. You have to actually own that and you have to connect a wallet to the machine. So you can imagine a little bit of a complexity with that, guys. That's why a lot of people have hiccups with this business. And that's why I'm covering this for you. So that way, if you want to do it on your own, you know exactly how to do it, guys, right? So you buy the Bitcoin. But here's the thing, as you know, I mean, right now, Bitcoin price is probably, I didn't check before this live, about 17,000. So you want to own at least one crypto. So if somebody goes to your machine, for example, and they buy $17,000 worth of crypto, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll say 10,000, okay? Because this is realistic. This has happened a lot of times. They buy $10,000 worth of Bitcoin from your machine. But the price of crypto drops. We'll say it drops 3%. Well, what do you do? Because that transaction has been initiated and they bought it at a certain price. And in those six, seven, 10 minutes, the price drops. So now you have to have what's called floats. So you have to have that one Bitcoin, but you also need to have a little bit extra to cover if the price goes down or if it goes up within those 10, 15 minutes or even hour of all those transactions. 
So as you can imagine, there's a little bit of a complexity. So you have to make sure you are buying enough crypto. So you're actively managing that machine. That means you're probably checking in multiple times a day to make sure you have enough crypto. And then this goes into cash management because you got to think to yourself, if you realize you have only like half a Bitcoin, you're like, wait, somebody must have bought like $10,000 worth. So what do you got to do? Check your machine and be like, oh, there's $10,000 in cash in here. So you start to see how there's a little bit of a complexity with this machine, guys. I'll tell you a quick story. So Gianni, I don't, I don't know if he uh, forgot to go into this, but I was actually talking to Gianni. Remember guys, he makes 15 to $20,000 a month from his cash ATMs. He's, he's doing all right. That's over $180,000 a year, just from a passive business, cash ATMs. I asked him, I said, Hey, Gianni, like, why didn't you get into the uh, Bitcoin ATM business? And he actually told me, he's like, Hey, get them. You know, it's, it's too complex. I have to buy the crypto. I got to hit the machine. They usually want multiple machines to be bought at once from all these other companies. Then I have to have the cash inside of it. The bank I'm working with works with my ATM business. They won't work with my actual BTM business. It's not worth it. It cost me about $70,000 to get started. I'm just going to stick to cash ATMs. So that's actually going to lead into our next lesson, guys how you can actually start your Bitcoin ATM business in under 30 days. Because we started thinking after we had that conversation, I actually talked to Paul. I was like, hey, we got to find a solution to this. Just like how we found that, that nonprofit, which I'm going to get into after this live, guys. We found a solution for you guys to start your Bitcoin ATM business in under 30 days, guys. So if you're excited and you're like, you know what? This is for me. I'm actually going to get started very soon. Comment me below. If you know yourself right now, you're going to get your ATM or Bitcoin ATM business started within the next 30 days, guys. Comment me while I actually get this phenomenal lesson ready for you guys, All right? So let's do this. Let me actually share my screen, guys. If you can comment, if you actually see my screen. Here we go. All right. All right, guys, before, you know what, before we actually get into this, let me, let me ask you a question, right? And before you answer this question, just listen for a second. I actually want you just to think about this for a second. I, I really want a truthful answer. Remember, I mean, we, a lot of us don't know each other on this live, especially if you're watching us on YouTube, guys, you don't know us. So just truly take a second to think about this and give the honest answer. Which one of you are ready to succeed. Think about that. And I mean truly succeed, guys. Let's keep it real. 2023 is only two weeks away, guys. How many of you guys told yourself, hey, I'm going to start this, I'm going to start that, I'm going to accomplish this months ago? I did. There were a few things. I was like, man, it was June. Like literally last week, I swear it was June, and I told myself I was going to do this. It's easy to give up, just enjoy the holidays, call it quits. That's it. But here's the thing. I suspect you won't do that. And the reason why I suspect that is because you're actually watching this live. I suspect, I truly suspect, guys, that you have a feeling something's not right. You know that feeling you just get? Like, you know, when you're about to walk outside and, and you just feel like, man, I should bring my rain jacket. And you don't listen to your gut. And two hours later, you're leaving dinner and you walk outside. You're like, wow, it is pouring rain. I got a feeling, guys, you know something's not right. It's like everyone's saying the sky's purple, but you look up and you're like, man, the sky's blue. What's going on? Well, here's the thing. Let me explain to you guys what's going on around you right now. And I'm going to keep it real. Paul and I went to a conference. Multi-millionaires. They made us look like we only had 50 cents in our bank account explaining exactly what's going to happen. There is literally an attack on your finances right now. You are literally one source of way from poverty. If you only have one income source, you're literally one step away from poverty. Think about that. Is your sick time going to run out? Is your vacation time going to run out? Is your benefits going to run out? What are you going to do? Everything around you is increasing in price. Your money's not going as far. What are you going to do about it? Like, seriously, what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to take it? You're going to smile. You're going to agree and just say, hey, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. Or are you going to invest in a business? 
any business, guys, I don't care what it is, but are you going to invest in your business? If you're going to take control of your future right now, and you're going to hold yourself accountable so you know, hey, in 2022 in December, get them on that live telling me what was going on around me. It is June 2023. I'm looking back at that chapter in my life, and I'm happy I listened. If that's going to be you, guys, comment, I promise. I want you to make a promise to yourself right now that you're going to take a step towards that goal you had, that business you knew you were going to take advantage of. I don't care if it's an ATM business. I don't care if it's a BTM business. Do something. You have to have another source of active revenue for your life to make sure you have the freedom, the autonomy to do the things you want to. This I cannot stress the importance of this, guys. I tried to explain it to some of my family. They wouldn't listen. I was like, hey, I can only tell you so many times. Comment, I promise, below if you're going to take that step forward, guys. Now, and I see, some, I see some comments, guys. I respect that. I see you guys holding yourself accountable. That's what I'm talking about. So let me ask you another question. Are you looking for more of a passive or involved business? And let me see if my PowerPoint works. Here we go. If you're looking for a passive income business, it's going to be the more Bitcoin ATM business route, guys. If you're looking for a more involved business, like semi-passive, where you're willing to put some cash inside the machine, closer to a four-figure investment, that's going to be an ATM, a cash ATM business, guys. A little lower return on investment just because of the nature of the business, but it's also going to be a lower investment. It's almost like buying an eightplex, right? Eight units in a property, which is going to cost a little more, but you know you're going to get a better return on investment than it is just to buy a single family home and you're only renting to one person, guys. So comment what type of investment you plan to move forward with. Passive or involved, guys. What I'm going to actually go over right now is going to be a passive income venture, okay? So Bitcoin ATMs, guys. Based on our training and experience, we have determined you can expect to generate about $1,000 to $6,000 a month from a Bitcoin ATM business. And I'm explaining to you exactly how, guys. So with a Bitcoin ATM business, just to keep it simple, I want to walk you guys through it again. That customer is going to go to your machine. They're looking to transport their cash into crypto or vice versa. You're going to charge them either way. The average is about 15 to 20% a transaction. I know it sounds high, but think about it like this. It's convenience, guys. How many of you guys have been to a 7-Eleven at midnight? And you're like, man, because you got to get that toilet paper. I've been there, guys. I'm going to keep it real. And you're like, $8 for some toilet paper. And that guy behind the clerks just smiling like, yep, convenience. Guess why? Because Costco's closed. Sam's Club's closed. You ain't getting that discount. You're getting convenience with that machine. You are providing your customer a service that is convenient to them, around the corner from them, at a store, whatever. And you're going to charge for that convenience. That's just how it is. So, you make about 15 to 20 cents per trans, 15 to 20% per transaction. So you can imagine the average order size is about $1,000 more. So for each transaction, you're making $150 minimum. We've seen a lot of transactions where someone comes in with $20,000 because they're like, hey, I got this cash. I'm trying to invest it right now. I don't need to risk it with these exchanges. Off that $20,000, you're making $3,000 in profit, guys. And that's just if in a, it's in a month, guys. So you can only imagine. There are some locations we have that are generating over $20,000 net a month. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. High traffic location. People are moving their cash. They're sending it overseas. They're doing whatever, guys. So there's a lot of roadblocks when it comes to the business, guys. A few things you're going to see is that, first of all, like I mentioned in that lesson before, it typically takes about three to six months to start on your own, guys. And the reason why is the LLC, the bank, it usually takes just a month for them to go through all their approval processes. You got to have your specific employees you hire. And I'm going to get into that soon. So it's about three to six months to start that business. So if you started your Bitcoin ATM business on your own right now, it's going to be by March to June that you have it up and running. It's a higher cost to entry, but it's going to be higher returns, guys. And then you also need to own your Bitcoin and cash inside that machine. Okay. In addition to that, like I mentioned last point in the slide, strict compliance requirements, guys. It's strict because at the end of the day, there's usually federal registration, state registration, you name it, guys. So 
to start your Bitcoin ATM business, guys, on your own, it's going to cost typically about seventy dollars to $130,000 initial investment. And I break it down for you. The machines, usually about 10 to 15, 10 to 25. The Bitcoin itself, usually about 20 to 40. And that's not the price of Bitcoin. That's to account for buying more than one. Then you got to deal with compliance, attorneys, compliance, all this good stuff. And then you want cash inside. So you can imagine it's kept a lot of people from starting, including one of our team members, Gianni. So we came up with a solution, guys. So we actually came up with a solution. And what we did was we tested it ourselves. Because before we provide something to you guys, we want to make sure it works. We want to make sure we're experts in the industry, subject matter experts, as they call it in court. All right. Now, we found a way to save you money, first of all, make it completely passive for you, allow you to invest in crypto without having to actually buy it because we understand how volatile it is right now. And you can start your business in weeks. And as you see right here, guys, this is literally one of the machines. Trev, this is, this is it. I showed you the transaction I did on it to show you exactly how simple it is to work. The owner was excited. He's like, man, I've been waiting for a Bitcoin ATM. Everyone keeps talking about it. And here's the best part about this business, guys. Because I don't want to leave any of you guys out that want to do cash ATMs. You can place a cash ATM right next to it. So imagine this, guys. You have a cash ATM right next to it. Somebody pulls out $1,000 because you want to increase that limit because you know what are they going to do? They're going to use that machine. They pull out that cash and they put it into your machine. So you made money off them withdrawing it from their accounts. And then you also made money from them buying the crypto. As I was working on this machine, finishing it all up, because I like to do things myself. I watched four people in the course of 36 minutes, guys. Four people use the cash ATM right next to it. And I'm just like, oh man. And they're asking me like, hey, what's this machine? They're trying to figure it out. It's like, hey, what? it says buy this Bitcoin. What the heck is that? And I broke it down to them. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've always wanted to invest in crypto. So that's how you can take advantage of one location with two businesses, guys. There are two different businesses, cash ATM and your Bitcoin ATM business in the exact same spot. And it's only going to take about 40 inches of space. So we have the crypto elite automation package, guys. So let me explain to you a little bit of how this works, guys. First of all, there's going to be this introductory package. I'm from the military. So all these people would go into boot camp, guys. I'm talking college degrees, freaking professors, um, anything you think of, high school graduates, all these different experiences. And they had a standardized process to get you started. And the reason why was you want to come out the exact same on the way out. That is what we do ATM together. We have a standardized process to ensure success because if there's too many options, people aren't successful, guys. So we keep it simple. Like, hey, step one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So with our automation package, guys, you're going to have a brand new two-way Bitcoin ATM. What that means is you're going to be able to sell crypto on that machine directly and also buy crypto. So if somebody wants to go there and they actually want, we'll just say this is like $500 in cash, they want to put that in the machine, you're going to charge them to use that. Or if they have a hardware wallet or whatever, and they have crypto already and they want to sell it and get cash out of your machine, you charge them too. So there's two ways of profit off of that, okay? In addition to that, you're going to have an advertising topper. That advertising topper is going to run national ad campaigns. When I activated it today, I saw AirPod commercials, Amazon commercials, uh, there's insurance commercials. Think about all those companies that are selling. You know the Super Bowl? How many millions of dollars they charge for the Super Bowl commercials? Think about it this way. The more Bitcoin ATMs you have with advertising toppers, the more money you make. Because that ad company is saying, wait a second, you have how many machines? The ATM together... Network has so many machines and they get charged even more because their advertisements reach even more people. So think about that. The more machines you get, the more advertising revenue you get, guys. That's in addition to the machine itself. In addition to that, you're going to get one guaranteed Bitcoin ATM location. But here's the thing. If you decide you want a cash ATM also, we give you access to that. Just like I mentioned. So you're going to install your Bitcoin ATM first. And then you decide, you know what? This is a phenomenal location for a cash ATM. I'm going to put it right next to it. So you get to take advantage of both, guys. And let me explain to you exactly how the revenue works. 
So with the Bitcoin ATM business, there's two sources of revenue. There's the machine itself and the advertising's topper. The machine, we expect about $1,000 to $6,000 a month in revenue per machine per location, guys. And keep in mind, right? You're going to nurture the location, just like an ATM business. But that's what we expect. In addition to that, you're going to make your advertising revenue on top. And we say a little over $100 up to about $300. In Canada, based on that network, they're generating about $600 a month. Imagine the revenue you can make off of advertisements, guys. And you can sell your own ads. So if you have a business, if you have friends that want to advertise, you let them know, buy ads through the company, and it's going to get dispersed everywhere, all across the nation, guys. So let me explain to you exactly how this works, step by step. So first week, we're going to help you how to form your LLC. The steps, the proven strategies you need to make it compliant with the Bitcoin ATM business. We'll walk you through the EAN formation, and then we'll give you assistance for your business checking account because we understand how hard it is. After that's set up, the first week, the second week, we're also going to order your BTM, your topper, and your package. So you're going to get a machine, brand new, shipped straight to you, custom wrapped to attract people, marketing brochures, everything you need with that machine, in addition to an advertising topper. We'll connect you with a technician, a professional technician that's going to transport the BTM to your location. That brings me to my next point you're going to get a phenomenal Bitcoin ATM location. We partnered with a call center that has found us over 2,000 locations nationwide and in Canada, guys. We know what we're doing when it comes to the BTM and ATM business. So they're going to find you a phenomenal location. Once you determine, you're like, hey, you know what? I love this location, get them. That technician is going to take it straight to the location for you and install it. But here's the thing. We understood that the cash and the crypto purchases are going to be tough. And we understood what becoming a money service business entails for a lot of people. And it's, it's not fair. So what we did was we partnered with a fulfillment company that's going to handle all the backend compliance for you. So instead of you having to put your own cash in your Bitcoin ATM, instead, we have an armored vehicle service that's going to maintain the cash in your machine, guys. You don't even need to touch it. In fact, you can't touch it. It's locked. That cash is going straight to the central bank account. You don't even need to worry about it. In addition to that, we're going to buy the crypto for you. So you don't turn into a money service business and you don't deal with those headaches, guys. So literally, all you need to do is collect your commissions once a month. It's going to get deposited automatically to your bank account. Think about that for a second. Think about the active, passive solution we have just created for you guys. And after this, the final step is to rinse and repeat. Make sure you take a photo with the machine, guys, but rinse and repeat. Scale. If you want to install in another state, that's an option. If you want to install in another city, that's an option too. Scale, 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 guys. Here's the thing, though. I personally just bought three more BTMs with a limited supply because we just launched, guys. As you remember, last week, I mentioned we had 17 out of the 20. We are down to nine. And I think it's nine. It might be eight right now. So we have extremely limited inventory for December because at the end of the day, we want to make sure we have quality service. We're not going to take on too many clients. That's just how it is. I'd want to focus on quality over quantity. At the end of the day, that's how we've scaled to 50,000 members in this group, guys. But here's the thing. You may have this last minute resistance. I had it before I started my business. Here's a picture of Sergio. And I, I mean, I love this example because Sergio just started with his ATM business, guys. And his post really hit me. He mentioned that initially he thought about pensions. He thought about his nine to five as securing his life. But then the, the, the veil got taken off of him. He didn't want to stay mediocre. And I know you guys don't want to stay mediocre either. Don't let the comfort kill your dreams to start your business, guys. So, if you're interested and you're like, you know what? I can see myself doing a, a low five-figure investment to get my passive income business started. And you're interested in the Bitcoin ATM business, comment Bitcoin below. One of our team members reach out, schedule you for a quick 10 to 15 minute call, break down the options, see if it's the right fit for you. But here's the thing. If you say, you know what, I'm not ready for a Bitcoin ATM business. I'm looking for more of a four-figure investment, which is okay. That's how we started. 
and you're interested more in cash ATMs, comment cash below. We will still reach out to you and explain to you the benefits and just see whichever is the best fit for you guys. There's absolutely no pressure. With that being said, guys, I forgot to mention one more thing. I promised I had a special announcement. So this is not going to be on YouTube yet. This is literally only for you guys on this live. So pay attention. If you donate towards the foundation and mention this to any of our team members that you reach out to, if you donate any amount to that foundation, we will actually give you a special discount on any of our services. I don't care if it's a dollar donation. All you need to do is book a call, show them the screenshot on the call, and it's only going to be limited to the nine BTMs available, guys. Again, I'm Getem Jonas, atmtogether.com, COO. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and follow. Thanks, guys. I will catch you on the next slide. Take care. Bye.